So let's go over how you could take a vector graphic that you've created in Affinity Designer for the iPad and open it with Adobe Illustrator for the desktop. So before I do that, I just want to pinch to zoom in on this graphic right here, just to show you that this is indeed a vector graphic. These parts are all made using vectors here. So let me put that back in place. Now what we want to do is we want to take this and export it in a usable format. Unfortunately, Illustrator's .ai format isn't available in Affinity Designer because it's, it's an Adobe-specific format. It's their proprietary format. So we're going to have to use a more universal format. So let's tap on the Documents uh, button up here in the top left corner. And the third option down from the list where it says Export, go ahead and tap on that. And the file format we are looking to export as, up here at the top, you'll notice all these different file formats. We want to choose SVG down here. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And in my experience, it is the best file format to work with when working with vectors because it is the most universal format. Not only will you be able to open this in Illustrator, you'll be able to open it in Inkscape, CorelDRAW, even in Affinity Designer. Any vector editor you want should be able to open this. So once you've selected SVG, uh, take a look at some of your settings here. I'm just going to leave the defaults as they are. If you want to convert your text to curves, you can enable that if you'd like. One thing I do want to pay attention to down here at the bottom left where it says allow JPEG compression quality, uh, I'm going to bring that up to 100%. For some reason, it's at 85 by default, which I don't... I, if, I'm, if I'm just transferring, if I'm just exporting a file, I don't want quality loss. So I'm going to bring that up, and then I'll tap OK. Go ahead and choose a folder on your device or in your iCloud drive to save this as. And up here where it says Untitled, I'm just going to tap on that, and I'm going to give this a name here. I'm going to name this um, Logo and tap on Done. And then I'll tap on Save in the, ta in the top right corner. And now it should be saved to your iCloud drive. So let me go over to my desktop and open this file up. Okay, so here we are now in the desktop environment with Adobe Illustrator opened. Let's go ahead and open this file. Come up here to where it says File, go to Open, locate that SVG file that you just exported in your documents, double click it to open, and there you go, there is your document. Now if you zoom in on this, you can see all of the vector elements have been preserved as they are, and you should now be able to work on this the same way you would any other vector document. Now, the one problem with this approach, and this is an unavoidable problem, unfortunately, is that the layers are not preserved. So if you come over here to where it says Window and go to Layers, everything is confined to one layer, as you can see right there. Now, the way Affinity Designer works is it makes it so that every single element that you create is placed on its own layer. So you're going to go from having a bunch of layers to having just one layer. If you'd like to release everything here, all of these design elements into their own layers, all you have to do is have this layer selected, uh, tap on this little menu icon up here, and what we are looking for is Release to Layers Sequence. And then everything, every individual design element will be released to its own layer that you can toggle on and off like that. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about exporting a vector graphic from Affinity Designer from the iPad environment and working with it in a desktop environment. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.